Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. It's 8 a.m. I've already been to the gym. I've already prayed, obviously. It's a productive day. And you know what? I'm working as well. And I want to make a video because while I was on this run, I was thinking about what is the most important thing that a new entrepreneur knows that I didn't know that made me fail my business that would help someone succeed in theirs? And the most common thing that makes entrepreneurs fail. So yeah, well, budding entrepreneurs, people who don't understand the game, and actually, even people who experience will fail for this same thing. I nearly failed as of recent with this same uh, understanding of the way that business and flow works. Very, very important. And it's got a lot of faith in there, guys, as well. So it links to everything. But guys, before I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far. We're nearly at 8,000, which is very, very cool. And yeah, any other questions you got about business, fire them down below. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's James Lake Show on Instagram. Follow me, guys. And also, any questions or anything you got on there, I do my best to message back. And any questions you got about business, any personal questions, I fire back. I do my best to help. But yeah, guys. So, essentially, what I have come to realize, well, I've come to realize over many, many years, and it's not like I've suddenly had some like revelation today where I'm like, oh yeah, this is it. But really, it's constantly seeing this and understanding that this is the way that business works. So essentially, when I set up in business, I was 11 years old and I was selling on eBay and Amazon and I was selling on the playground and I was selling products that were like cash and carry products. So that was like 24 years ago. I was selling on the playground and what was I doing? I'd buy chewing gum for 20p, sell it for 40p or whatever it was at the time. I think it was like, I think it was like 21p, sell for like 40p. So essentially, it was money that you could turn around straight away. I could buy the stock on the Saturday and make him profit by the Monday and so forth. Anyway, at 19, when I borrowed money to set up my first business, I set up and it was the opposite of this. Now, I've done business studies, obviously, and I was told, like, yo, businesses take X amount of years to get profitable. I guess the arrogance in my head thought that I would hit the ground running because I thought I was the best salesman. I thought I was smart. I thought that my hunger would exceed all. Anyway, after 10 months, I burned through the money that I borrowed. I wasn't managing the cash very well, and I owed suppliers money, and uh, the business was going bankrupt. But I didn't want to borrow any more money. I didn't even think of that as an option, to be honest. But I just thought, shit, this is a failing business. I can't fix this. Now, what I've later come to realize is every single business has the ability to work. And a lot of what it is in business, always in business, is you have to pay the piper. Now, what I've seen now is you can't expect to make any money for three years in business. Not really. Like in every single business I've had, and I've made some serious money multiple times in business now. And the success, you could say, comes overnight in terms of when it hits. But when you're actually breaking it down, you've been in the game, you've been in the water all this time, and then a wave came. I have never had it as much as I've wanted to, as much as big of my dreams have been. And I've had like three or four biggish wins now. Never did they come on day one. And every single time they took multiple years. Now, I think the multiple years can't be avoided. It's like God's not just going to give it to you. You have to go through the stages. Now, what do the stages look like? Because I think everyone will be able to relate to these stages of business. Stage one is you've got this great idea. It's an amazing idea. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the stages because I'm going to show you how and, and where the universe or God or whatever you want to call it. If you're not religious, I believe it's God. But is trying to make you quit because he's not going to give you anything for free. So what happens is you get this new business idea that God's given you, mashallah. And you're like, wow, okay, cool. This is going to make me rich. And then you go out, this is how it works for me. Then you go out and find a way to finance it, maybe borrow some money or you take out of your own savings if you're already an established businessman. And now you start to second guess, maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe this isn't a good idea. This is, this is you trying to be tricked out of doing this business. Just your, your head is trying to trick you to not take the risk. So you remain a worker bee like every single uh, other person who didn't take the dream that they wanted to do. And there's no, there's no bad against that. Like what I'm about to say is not everyone's dream because it really, you go to hell and back trying to create a business. But the point is, God's just not going to give it to you for the sake of it. Like you, you need to pay the piper. Right, let me get some pillows. So stage one, you're excited, you borrow money, you're going to be a millionaire next year. Stage two, you've probably got the money in the bank. And this is what happens with me now, or you've taken the money, you've released some, uh, some money from somewhere. And now, now you're sat there thinking, shit, was this really a good idea? Is my money really safe? Am I throwing away good money here? Like my lifelines here? 
And then you have to battle through that because obviously you've got to be realistic about things, but there's all these injunctions in which your head is going to try and tell you that the business you're embarking upon is a terrible idea, but you cannot listen to that. That's the most important. You cannot listen to it. You need to be realistic. Very, very different between realistic and being a pessimist. You need to remain realistic and positive, but not be a pessimist. A pessimist will never start a business. Oh, someone else has already done it. Someone else has it. Let me tell you this as well, not to go off on a side note too much, is every single business can work. I don't care what business it is. If you're dedicated enough and you work hard enough and you have enough uh, stra strategy to be able to survive through the quiet times, you will, you will win. You will win in the end. It, it, any business will win in the end. It could take 50 years. I'm sure of that. I'm sure of it. And, like, and obviously, the bigger the business, you get these ones like Amazon where they lost billions for 10 years and then they're huge. Like, I do think that all of that like absorption of your energy and your money can get paid back if you can survive to the end. It's all about survival. No matter how crazy the business is, this is how, this is how I'm starting to see everything. Now, if you go for like a less ambitious business, you could be making money in a month or two. But if you have big, ambitious businesses where you have a big business plan, you cannot expect to be doing anything for three years. So anyway, back to the stages. Stage two, you're second guessing. Maybe you fight over that and you manage to now start the limited company. You've got your bank set up, all of that stuff. Limited company is an LLC for anyone in America listening. And now you start trading and you're excited. You're wet behind the ears. You, uh, you think, yeah, this is going to be great. And then maybe six months goes by, a year goes by and no money is really coming. And your positivity, I mean, maybe some people don't even get this far because it does take a lot to be able to continue to turn up every day even though that no money's coming in. Anyway, so six months, a year, maybe you're still working your main job and you're doing this on the side and everything in your head is telling you, yo, come on, you've burned 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, whatever it is that you've done, everything's gonna have their own personal business journey. Give up now, don't burn anymore. You could have bought that house. What about your safety future, blah, 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 blah. And all of these things, it's like, yeah, I could just quit for, I could quit, it would be safer to quit. This is what the universe, what God, what he's trying to do. He wants to test to see if this person is able. Now, of what I've seen in literally, I've had five businesses now, one of which failed, which is the one that I told you at the start. All of the others succeeded. What, the, the quickest one took six months. Every other one took three years. And it didn't even seem by the end of year two that I was going to get the results that I got in year three. So I genuinely believe what happens is God's like, right, okay, we're going to really test him. So from my own personal experience recently, right, is as of last year, I burnt 250, well, 300,000 year one, paying for salaries for six people, the, uh, the premises, the, all of the travel between our warehouse. It was crazy. Then 200,000 year two. And at the end of year two, it's like, is this really going to work? And like the guys who knows, know me, go onto my Instagram, you're going to see it or follow uh, my business channel, JLC TV. We document it all there. But Guys, the point of what I'm saying is after year two, I still didn't see how it's going to happen. Like, geez, we've got a lot of money now, half a million in savings. Like, guys, I've done well, but I can't be affording to lose no half a mil. Like, that's a serious chunk of my stuff. Anyway, so then by year three, just as suspected, just as every other business, we did not fight. We did not give in. We did not fold. And then bang. We're doing good now, guys. We're finally digging ourselves out of the hole, the half a million. And now we have the trajectory because this business is a business we're building on the continent. We're building it over in Europe. I'm in Bristol right now, but um, I have a big business in Bristol, but this is an extension to the business and we're building it out in Europe. We have like set, well, we just got our seventh member of staff and uh, it's going to be very, very cool. But the point of what I'm saying is two years and half a million, it looked bleak. And in the third year, suddenly, like all the pieces are fitting in, all the customers that we've been prospecting with, all of the work we've done is suddenly coming in and we're getting like, shit, we're doing 150,000 in sales this month. And like this time last year, we did 20,000 and we burned half a million. So like, or, or actually, I think it was more like 30,000 we'd done because we just started to have a little bit of a busier month. But the point of what I'm saying is you couldn't predict the places that I'm at now. So I believe that God is putting this stuff on us. So like when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to do well, the hardest thing to do is to survive the mental game. Obviously, you need cash to survive the, um, those years, but you can have a side job and you wouldn't start at the level that I've done in my latest business at half a million. I tried to expedite the process. I actually thought that I could jump those years using money, but that's not the case. Like you are going to pay the piper. The customers aren't just going to land on your lap. It doesn't matter how smart you are with the processes you have in UK. You are still going to have to do the long slog. 
turn up to that mine and bang the hammer every single day, it is not going to come to you on your lap. And that's what I realized. I think like an arrogance in me returns where I'm like, yeah, I've, I've had this success in the UK. Everything's going good. I know I could just go out into Europe and make it happen again. But obviously me and my business partner out there, like that's just not the case. You pay the piper. But you know what? It's a better way. And I know a lot of people want to get rich quick. I tell you what, it's so, so much more rewarding when it's building. And I'm not slow and steady win the race. If I'm a, if there's an opportunity, I'm going to take it. Like my business in 2018 went from 2 million a year turnover to 15 million overnight. Now that was because we hit opportunities. But the point of what I'm saying is like, you feel more proud when you paid the piper. We burned years, burned half a million. Stress where I'm like, shit, this is compromising my future. But no, we get through it. And like, that's what it is. You got to fight. It's kind of like, this is a good analogy, right? I was thinking about this earlier. It's like, you're boxing someone and they just come out with all, their, with all their energy and you think like, whoa, I'm not gonna be able to withstand this, but that's all of their energy. And then after that flurry slows down, you can pick your punches. And that's what it is with business as well. You got to get through two years of round one, round two of some jumped up crazy guy telling you, hey, you ain't meant to be in business. You're not smart enough for this. And then by year three, you're like, hang on, I get a few hits on you, guy. This is nice. And like, I'm getting paid. And that happens, guys. It's mad. It's a mad thing. And you know what? If someone had told me this, I might have stayed in my first business. But you know, it's a blessing, mashallah. I wasn't meant to be in bathrooms. I wasn't meant to be in retail. That's not me. My destiny is uh, distribution, B2B. So that happened for a reason. But it doesn't change the fact that you ain't going to get no business for free. And God makes you pay the price. And I've seen it now. No matter what I learn, I pay the piper. He makes me pay. So yeah, guys, hope that helps uh, some entrepreneurs out there who are looking for some advice on how to withstand the mental game. Don't lose the sigh up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, James Lake Show. I'll see you over and out.